He's just a bike courier working on two hours sleep. He's just a bike courier who drives and sweats in a silent scream for life. He pedals. His revs soar higher than an eagle as he cuts through traffic like a Ginshu knife of hope. Ah! Whoa! He carries packages, but he don't think about the past. He delivers your packages, mister, but he don't go from point A to point B. He goes under cars, around traffic, and over time. He's 90 pounds, but he eats all the time. He just lives that fast. And he'd go tell a 300-pound truck driver to go screw a fence. Hey! I'm vulnerable here! Fatty! Fat thing! Why is that? Because he's a bike courier with a death wish, operating on two hours sleep. Sandals. Ah, yes, I do good job. Maybe you pay me for job. Huh? Uh -huh. Pay me. Okay, okay, okay. How much? Uh, Twenty American dollar only. Oh only. no, that's too much. I can't pay that. I can't. I'll, I'll pay you two. All right. Twenty dollar. Well, I'll pay two. Twenty. Two. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Come Here. on. <gasps> you are from United States, no? Um, no, I'm Canadian actually. That's oh. it's like an American but without a gun. Oh. <laughs> Canadian, Canada, go cold. Well, not all the time. No? No. Um, right now it's summer there, so it's as hot there as it is here. Oh, no can be, Joe. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. Yes, I know. I just make joke. <laughs> good joke. Yes, it's good, good joke, very no? Good joke, You yeah. pay me $20 for a joke. No. But it's good joke, no? Okay, two. Twenty. Two. Okay. There you go. Uh-oh. <coughs> so, uh, where are you from? Here. I am Filipino. Really? Huh? That's, a, that's a surprise because, oh. um, well, because you're, um, huh? well, you're white. Oh, yes, I am very white. Yes, you are. Yes, I am very white. Yes, you are very white. No, very white is black man. Baby. <laughs> I make joke, joke. Good joke, very good joke. Good joke, you pay for joke. Oh, okay. There you no, go. this is joke. <laughs> but this joke you pay for. You have white? No, I'm not married. No? no. You are not married? No. But you are old, no? no. You should be married? But you have many cheeks, no? Huh? Cheeks, cheeks, cheeks. <laughs> no, not really, no. Ah, just one, huh? Your sweetheart. No, not really. No? no? You have no wife, no cheeks, no sweetheart. <gasps> Joe, 
You want to make love with Filipino boy? Yes. Uh -huh. $20. Fair enough. Good. Joe, you should have bargained. I would have done for two. Oh, I'd have paid 40 Oh, <laughs> come on. My sweet Lily, how I have missed your pedals. You're late, and you said you'd be early. You betrayed me. But baby, the buses were all backward. Hey, I'm not a victim. I'm charging you. Get the cops. Baby, that's too cruel. Hey, what's the disturbance here? I'm charging him. But baby, I love you. I love you with my tiny little heart. Yeah, right. Come on, pal. Yeah, hold on, Wendell. What's the charge? Well, for six months, he's been sitting on the couch complaining he hurt his back, and then he farts and he thinks it's funny. One time, baby, I had a bad burrito. He's always bringing his friends over. They bring their greasy carburetors right into the kitchen. He gives them our last sandwiches. It's impossible to have a decent life with all his friggin' and fraggin'. Could you be more specific? He's a farter. He's a farting machine. That's not a charge. It isn't? Well, it should be. Well, how about littering? Okay, baby. pal, that's the last pair of phantom tickets you tossed away. Let's go. Come on, baby. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for my baby boy. You fingered me. You betrayed me. You're dead to me, baby. Oh, come on, sweetness. Oh, sugar. Uh, don't let prison change you. Make you hard. Change me? You don't like me the way I am? You think I'm too small? You think I'm too wee to do labor work? That's where you're wrong. I use the big shovel. I use the big shovel. Yeah, you're so hard to think of beauty. Don't get him go. I'm dropping the charges. I'm dropping the charges. Well, I'm charging you. What? You just wanted me in jail so you could flit around, eh? Having guys over, drinking my rye and my root beer. You're charged. Oh, come on. I only drink when I feel like getting drunk. You're right. How can I tell thee how I love thee? You can drop the charges. I'm dropping the charges. I can't charge the woman I love. Come to me, sweetest. You're a coward. You what? won't commit to any decision you make. But, baby, we got alone together. Oh, yeah. No interest till 1994, and he goes and farts up the furniture. It's got no resale value at all. I'm charging him. I'm charging him. Take well, him I'm away. charging you. Oh. Well, you guys got to have charges. Well, she dyes her hair too much. Who's my... Here, there you go for that. What? Baby, you broke my nose. Oh, now there's a charge. What? What? Right, assault. That's a charge. What? You can't hit a guy. That's ludicrous. The judicial system will grind to a halt. How long has this been going on? Are you going to charge her or not? I'm charging her. But I'll drop the charges if she'll be my bride. Oh, oh my lovely boy. My Methuselah. <laughs> but are you sure? Remember, we promised not to do anything when we were drunk after we bought that furniture. You broke my nose, baby. Let's break that vow. God, I love you. I love you. I love, I you. love you. And you know I never would have charged you. I would charge you. I never would. You know that, I don't you? I know. Well, I'm charging you both with disturbing the peace. I'm trying to do a show. There was a phantom. Yeah. You couldn't get his autograph. He was standing right there. You got a piece of white trash. You call me piece of white trash. I'll take it out on you. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite spectacular. It's one. Afternoon, oh. gentlemen. Oh, Graham. Hey, Graham. Hi. Grant, we just want to tell you how much we love your design. Wow. Oh, great to hear you. I'm really proud of it. I know it's not 100% there, oh. but I'd be glad to hear any suggestions you have. Great, because we had one thought. Oh, please, please, love to hear. Shoot. Uh, well, Graham, we just thought, considering the money that we have budgeted for this project, that uh, we, we couldn't could... live without the atrium. Yeah, Graham, that's it. Yeah. That's an interesting suggestion. Oh, oh good. good, thank you. Especially since I based everything around the atrium. So let me get this straight. You like everything around the atrium, but you don't like the atrium itself. The atrium is here sort of the heart of the building. 
So what you're asking me to do is to cut up the heart of the building. Well, I'd rather cut my heart out. You don't want an architect, you want a butcher. Well, screw you and screw your friend. Unless you're more important than screw you and screw your friend. I'm out of here. Gee, you know, if he feels that strongly about it, I think maybe we should put the atrium back in. I mean, we can find the money somewhere, right? Well, he has this vision. I think we should respect it. So it's in. It's in. Okay. Okay. And oh. look, I'm really sorry. I hey. didn't mean to blow up like that. No. You're dead right. We don't need the atrium. Graham, Graham, no. We've already discussed it. We're putting the atrium back in. The atrium in, it's a done deal. No, 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 no. It doesn't fit the budget. We don't need the atrium. It's out. Well, if you're if you're sure you're okay with this, uh, Graham, okay, the atrium's out. Thanks, Graham. It'll save us a lot of money. So you're taking the atrium out? <laughs> but why'd you put it in? Did, did you put it in just so you could take it out? Are you two playing games with me? I'm here for your amusement? Well, you took to play your sick little games without me! Screw you and screw you! Get them out of here! Look, it really isn't worth this. Let's let's put the Agreed. atrium back in. Agreed? Agreed? Okay, great. Oh, hold on. Hello. Oh, hi, Graham. No, 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 that's right. Don't apologize. No, that's fine. We understand. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of stress and, and too much coffee. I think we've all been there, Graham. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, Graham, we've decided to put the atrium back in. We oh. love the atrium. We're just mad about it. It's in, Gray. Yeah. Well, 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 if... Well, if you really insist, Graham, but we really do... If, okay, Graham. Okay, Graham. If, if, you, if you insist, uh, uh, Graham wants us to take the atrium out again. Sure. Okay. Okay, Graham. Ow! Oh! Look, I'm really sorry. I, I don't know what I was thinking. The atrium's a dumb, dumb idea. No, 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 Graham. We love the atrium. The atrium is definitely in. Yeah. No, I'm embarrassed by it. Please, do me a favor. Don't tell anyone about the atrium. Look, I have an idea. Why don't we compromise? Why don't we put the atrium on wheels? We can wheel the atrium in some days and wheel it out other days. Gee, Don, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea. Let's do it. Okay, okay. So we'll have the atrium in on Mondays. We'll take her out on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Whoa! In on Mondays and out on Tuesdays? That makes no sense. Do you two know anything about the days of the week? People don't want to see the atrium on Monday. They've just had a weekend. Tuesday's the day they want to see the atrium. I'm sick and tired of dealing with fat-ass corporate execs who obviously care nothing about the common man. The atrium's in. I'm out. So here... Look, don't cry, Don. Look, I've forgotten. Are we for this atrium or against it? I don't know. Am I fat? No, you are not fat. Well, just say it if I You're am. You're not fat. Well, then hold me. Don. Finally. Tonight, a drunk chick from Winnipeg dances. A girl from Winnipeg or somewhere like Winnipeg dances drunk and alone. She's not the mayor of Winnipeg. She's not Winnipeg Fast Eddie. She's just a sweet chick from Winnipeg with a futon apartment who tonight dances alone with her head in a PA column. Soon the song will end. She'll stop smiling and shaking. But then, like a mighty river, another song will start. All right. Sweet drunk chick from Winnipeg. There she is. Watch her go. Everyone, uh, today, today we're going to be tackling what, it, what is one of the most fundamental, yet one of the most demanding drawing exercises that any aspiring artist may undertake. We're, we're going to be sketching the female nude today. 
but I'm going to ask you not to focus on portraiture so much at this point. Just focus on, on, on lines and shadow and form, okay? Uh, Sylvia, if you'll please. Hey, 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 yes, hey, yes. hey! Yes, yes. Excuse me, Mr. Dwyer, but uh, I, uh, I took this class to learn how to sketch. Not to ogle some poor yeah, female yeah. nude. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, well, this isn't about ogling. No, no, we're just going to uh, uh, observe line and, and, and shadow and form. Yeah. And, and we're going to use economic repression to once again exploit a woman's body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I, I don't think that's what we're doing here. No? No. Excuse me. Uh, sister, are you being paid? Yes. <laughs> I rest my case. Okay, well, of course she's being paid. She's a professional artist model. I, I see no reason why we shouldn't use her. What? <laughs> use her? You, sir? You know, I wish you could hear yourself, sir. Remember, language is a virus. Well, I, 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 I certainly didn't mean to infect anyone. I... That's no excuse. Sexism in any context is never appropriate. Yes. But what about our charcoal technique? Oh, oh, no. Don't change the subject here, sir. This class is a travesty. That poor woman child is just another victim of the patriarchy. She is? I, I am. Hate crime. Hate crime. Not only that, it is also a racist construct. Mm -hmm. This woman represents the same white image of beauty that has oppressed women for centuries. Hate crime. Hate crime. Where are the nude models of color? The people of girth. The handicapable. The elderly. The queer. Well, I'm sorry, it's just naked, fat, black, crippled dykes are hard to find. <laughs> I'm sorry I said that. I, I apologize. You, you white male, stop trying to cool up my black anger. I'm just trying to understand your black anger. Show it to me again. Shut up! Thank you, I understand now. <laughs> Sir, you leave me only one alternative. I must walk out and call for a boycott of your classes. Okay. Anybody who stays is obviously a racist. Or a homophobe. Shut, Shut up! Well, you know, th these issues are certainly valid, and I, uh, we could have a, dis a discussion. Bye. Well, okay. Uh, I assume we have serious artists left. Uh, uh, Sylvia, if you please. Woo! Come on, take it off, baby. Come on, take no, it off. No, no, no. Right. Come on, out. Everyone out. Come on, out of here. Out. Come on, move it. Move it out. I'm disgusted. I'm, I'm terribly... I'm so sorry. I'm Sylvia. I'm just... <sighs> Brenda! He's just a hopeless romantic, but he's in way over his head. He's just a guy who believes those things like where the guy gets the girl in the end, and if it was meant to be, it'll happen. Sad guy pacing outside, ring in his pocket. His head locked on a single idea, purity of love and destiny. The heart thumps, its beat can protect you, or can it? But if you love her and you want her, all you gotta do is let her know, don't you? Is this happening or what? <laughs> Brenda! Sorry. Not this time. Brenda! Mm. Brenda, please! Let me in! <laughs> Brenda! That's right. I love your hair! He's just a hopeless romantic, but he's in way over his head. Brenda, please! Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, baby, don't worry about it. Oh. Sandra, how come you never, uh... You know. I don't know, I just... You know, I don't like it. Why not? I, I don't know, I guess it doesn't feel right, I don't know. I don't know. Oral sex... <laughs> It's important to a man's sense of pride. It's part of God's plan. Look, drop it, okay? Jeez, it's the friggin' village people! Do not be afraid, my 
children. I come in peace. Who are you? I'm an angel. My name is Bob. I'm here to help you through your sex crisis. Yeah, and how? Well, let's just say that I am an angelic surrogate. There's no such thing as angels. No? Well, what would you call someone who flew around the world performing oral sex on men for free? An angel. I... I thought you'd see it my way. Alex Chapman, prepare to meet your destiny. Hey! I'm not gay. Well, that doesn't matter. Wait a minute. Are you trying to do my husband? Well, I prefer to call it sexual healing. Well, this I've got to see. But one question. Are a lot of angels gay? Well, let's just say that a lot of us used to be waiters. <laughs> well, you know, my gay friend Stephen says that he prefers to give than to receive. Oh, well, that's because your friend Stephen is also an angel. Oh. Yes, that's right. There's millions of gay angels like that all over the world. Doing unto others what they would have others do unto them. We try harder, Alex, because we know how it feels. Wow, what a moving speech. Buckle up, mortal. Hey, I told you, I'm strictly for the ladies. Do you believe that I'm an angel? Yeah. Then close your eyes and believe. Hello. Hi. My name's Susie. I would love to do you. All right, Susie. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I really learned a lot tonight. It was my pleasure, Sandra. Oh, one question. Yes? Is he going to be able to make it to work in the morning? Not a chance. <laughs> Gotta go. We will see you again, won't we? Oh, yeah. All you have to do is whistle. You know how to whistle, don't you? Put your lips together and... I'll handle it. <laughs> All right, Susie! <laughs> <laughs>